Hey guys, it's Bruce with Zabowski Studio, and today I'm going to be trying a little 20 minute challenges. An uh, artist friend of mine down in Florida uh, kind of emailed me some stuff she was doing five days of uh, 20 minute paintings, and I thought I'd try that today. I'm here at work, sitting in my car, and uh, going to try it out on my half hour lunch, and just going to pan around a little bit and kind of see what. Uh, this is a, how I kind of got it set up here. It's it's not great. Uh, my first time trying painting in the car, so we'll see how it goes. And I'll be using the uh, box that I designed and built. Uh, I've sold a couple, and I'll be using that to show you how you can uh, set up in your car. Okay, let's get going. Okay, here's the uh, box set up in the car. Just got a couple brushes out. I'll be doing a four by six, keeping it small, trying to just look for big shapes. And I don't know if this is gonna work out great because it's snowing here in Maine. Windows look a little messed up, but uh, still gonna try it out and uh, see what happens. So, all right. Okay, this is really uh, probably not gonna be conducive to looking out my window and painting something I'm looking at. But I do want to experiment with being able to do this effect of painting in my car. And the key with this for me is more about uh, trying to go with the tones of color for the effect of the day. Not great detail. I anticipate if you were to keep up with this, that would come with time. And the palette will be titanium white. Ultramarine blue, a little bit of burnt umber. Uh, I'm going to go with yellow ochre today and uh, cad red light. There's many uh, palettes you could use. I'm just going for it. And I, I see little hills straight up my window that I've, I've sat out here at lunch many a time. So I'm just going to create a little effect here and just. Get some paint on. I'm just going to be using uh, turpentine today to, when needed, to move the paint around. And part of the challenge is, of course, to mimic nature's colors quickly, get the values, because the color palettes you choose, especially if a limited palette like I'm using. Uh, you just have to accept you may not be able to mix certain colors, but if you get the value right, it will sit in space, so to speak. And at the beginning of these challenges, of course, uh, if I was to you know get into doing this a lot, uh, the, the challenge would be to work on one problem at a time. For this case, uh, because I don't really have a clear vision of what I'm looking at, I'm just going for some base wintry tones to... Uh, see how the effect of painting the car is. I would pick different things depending on effect. Uh, if it's a nice summery day, I might work on mixing greens and that sort of uh, idea. And trying to really get the, when I clean my brush, get the excess turpentine out. And if I can get a base effect of, of a tone, like say 70% of the value uh, effect that I want, I can then move on to something else and then come back and modify as I get more colors going on. You could spend time analyzing one area for uh, color, but I think uh, this effect I'm trying to do will be best served doing a little at a time. Now I got some trees in the background. Just, you see I got some sky going. I'm trying to hold my brush in a way that you can see what I'm doing. 
and I'm also this filming that I'm doing is with my new little compact camera I got a Canon ELF 180 and this is the first video I'm shooting with it so I'm hoping the footage is good and I just wanted something a little more compact and uh, we'll see how it works out hoping that it looks pretty good kind of poked around saw some other videos being shot people asking what they were using and so on and I'm sure I could have picked many other choices but it was like a hundred and uh, twenty dollars you don't get a memory card you have to buy that separately but hey and using video like I am right now continuous uh, it does drain the batteries so I got to work on uh, getting some extra batteries they seem to be when I looked online seem to be pretty reasonable now I'm getting a little more sky back into cut into and around trees that just created first cutting how I might want them to look not looking for detail again bits of snow on the ground it's not a heavy snow cover so some of it I'm designing it's there and not there so to speak trying to just give the effect that it's kind of broken through the grass here and there wiping off excess because the paint that's there has uh, you know, it will get disturbed somewhat And again, to get into super edge control and that sort of thing, for me, is not the point of this exercise. It's for, for today. The goal is to color notes. Trying to do more horizontal. Watch how you might control your brushwork to suggest a hilly side of a hill here which is really the hill up to the highway there but <laughs> kind of coming out cool now I'll take some uh, blue sky and start trying to get into a little bit of the wispiness of the trees that are with no leaves and for this whole thing so far I'm using a Robert Simmons signet series 42 series 42 filbert uh, size 4 and really like the signet brushes I've had some for years and years and years very good workhorse for bristle brushes now I'm uh, getting that blue back in there tempering it with a little bit of the brown burnt umber and trying to get some effect of uh, limbs it's not going to be perfect of course I'm using a bristle brush to try to do this but I want to see how long you know how far I can take certain effects before I have to switch and as it dirties up as the paint dirties up I go over to other places where I can suggest interior of the tree because my colors a little grayed down so I can work on that now I will work on I'm liking the effect of the tone of the sky and the effect there so now I got a little pointed round Rosemary and Company round uh, looks like it says size three or two 
Anyway, give me a little more control just for a few hints of the trees. Trying to paint the negative sky around the tree to create the tree shape. A little too dark. Go back to my original. And when I mix on my palette, I mix across as I mix a color and I add, make it darker. I keep creating a long string, essentially. So I always have something to go into. Trying to really plant some strokes. Temptation, you know, this is the first time I've ever done these little challenges like this and what I do like so far is the system is working out great the paint box working in the car I don't feel like I'm gonna knock something over and get paint in my car and that's important to uh, be comfortable so you can concentrate on the painting and not getting too hung up and being super careful about how your gear is set up so I do sell these. I can have them built and shipped within two weeks. The paint box here I'm using. So I'll mention uh, so I'll do uh, some links in the description for a video I made of showing all its features. It's a very very good design, I believe. People have liked them. Mixing a little blue and white again. Redefining some areas. Trees also sometimes have a crown, so to speak. The shape of the tree, how it spreads its limbs. So, in some cases, I might try to mimic that. Not going to be perfect. Some of it's going to ghost also because of, uh, what do you call it, aerial perspective. And it is a little flurries going on. I obviously am not going to get into that effect. I can sort of suggest it by the muted effects in the distance here with the trees. And, you know, I just tickle the paint back and forth. Is it going to be like super realistic in terms of uh, techniques and stuff? No, but again, that's not my point. I'm Shannon Van Sant. Congressional Republicans are holding their seat in West Virginia. President Trump is traveling there for a new address. I'm now at 20 minutes here. Well, actually 15 because I talked a little bit. So not going to go too much further here. Just some quick effects, and I'm going to call this one. You know, that's the whole key is I got a timeline, and it's close enough to it. I figured before I started, talked about three, or four, three to five minutes, and uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, thanks for joining me, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope the detail picks up enough. I didn't uh, have the zoom set. I want to see how it uh, how the camera films in uh, the normal setting. Okay, folks, thanks for joining me on this little 20-minute uh, exercise. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see how the camera footage worked out. I'm uh, hoping I had the angle set correctly. Of course, I couldn't see behind uh, for the view screen to get the angle, but it seemed to be uh, recording where I wanted. I'll find out when I go into edit. Uh, in the future, I'll probably uh, try to find a little mirror uh, I heard this recommend, recommended by somebody that painted in their car so they can hold it behind the camera and they could see it reflected what it's filming in terms of angle. So we'll try that next time. But uh, yeah, kind of fun painting in the car. And I'm just going to like uh, show the box here. I think it uh, is very useful. My color palette there. I have more colors than I use because I was painting something else. 
but uh, fun little sketch. Okay, thanks a lot. Talk to you later.